Hey guys, in this video I'm going to model the Leviathan Axe Pommel from God of War. This is something that you would usually prefer to sculpt, but I'm not very good at sculpting, so I decided to make a sub-D model. I think it's a very good challenge to test your modeling skills. This model is available on Patreon for those who would like to download it for studying purposes or to support the channel. Let's get started. So first, let's make sure that the reference picture is not selectable. I recently had a comment from someone who is still a beginner. This person doesn't know where to start when modeling something. My advice would be to start with the shapes that you can easily identify. In this case, we can see that there are three areas where we can add circles. Let's begin with the tongue. Add a circle with eight sides. Try not to add too many vertices in the beginning. Fill the circle with a grid fill and extrude some faces to match the reference picture. Press E to extrude, R to rotate and S to scale. And again, try not to add too many faces because it will be easier to modify later if you need to. Press Ctrl R to add an edge loop. Let's continue with the upper mouth, the teeth and the nose. Press Ctrl R to add an edge loop. Fill the gaps by pressing F and if you want to move the vertices along the edges, press G twice. Make sure to align the polygons as much as you can to get quads that are not too stretched. Press J to connect the vertices and Ctrl R to add a couple of edge loops. To space them out to keep a good curvature, I recommend you to download and install the SetFlow add-on. It's free and it is the best add-on to do that. The link is in the description. Adjust the iteration value to get a smoother result. If your edge loops are not straight, try to straighten them as much as you can. You can use the knife tool with K or connect the first and the last vertices and delete the bendy edge loop. Or you can do right click and at the bottom of the list, choose set linear. Right click and choose set flow. Let's extrude the bottom jaw. Ctrl R to add a couple of edge loops. Extrude the teeth. To evenly space out some edges, select them, right click, loop tools and choose space. If you don't have the loop tools menu, go to your preferences window and type loop. Don't be afraid to work on multiple areas at the same time. For example, here I'm extruding some edges around the eye and the lower jaw. I'm trying to align the polygons as much as I can to instantly see where I have to add edge loops or polygons. Activate the Auto Merge Vertices button to automatically merge the vertices when they are close to each other. Ctrl R to add an edge loop. Extrude the forehead.
Let's close the head part, fill the gaps by pressing F, and to avoid getting a lot of edge loops in the tight areas, between the back of the mouth and the eye, use diamond polygons to reduce the number of edges. That way you can keep a quite uniform mesh. Keep extruding and rotating to make the neck. Right click, loop tools, space. Fill the gap between the teeth. Press F to fill the hole and J to connect the vertices. There is not enough edges, so press Ctrl R to add an edge loop. And use the loop tools to evenly space out the edges. Add a loop under the chin, fill the gap between the lower mouth and the neck. We are adding some edge loops that are close to each other, but we will space them out after. Add three edge loops at the base of the neck. I'm going to add some edge loops at the back of the head, but I don't want to add an extra edge on the nose, so to fix that, make a diamond polygon. Use set flow to space the edges out. Adjust the vertices by sliding them if it's needed. Again, I'm going to use the space function from the loop tools to get a uniform density. You can straighten the edges if you want, right click and choose set linear. Now I'm going to improve the support loop around the eye. With the knife tool, I add some cuts and I merge some vertices. Select these two vertices, press M and choose add center. Turn that triangle into a diamond polygon by adding an edge loop. Slide the vertices along the edges to get a uniform outer polygon ring around the eye. Adjust the curvature again with set flow if you need to. Press O to activate proportional editing and adjust the radius with the scroll wheel. Drag some vertices to match the curvature of the picture. Let's fill that triangle or shape. Press F to fill and with the knife tool add some cuts like so.
The edges on the left border must be evenly spaced out because I'm going to make a circle with them later to make the transition between flat and curved. Let's fill the gap of the mouth. Press J to connect the vertices. Let's turn that triangle into a diamond polygon. Make sure that everything aligns with the reference picture. And for the eye, I'm going to start with this weird shape. Add an edge loop and slide these two vertices. Adjust the curvature again with set flow. Fill the gaps by pressing F. Right-click and choose Set Flow. Adjust the iteration value to get a smoother result. Select the hole, press F. Connect the vertices with J. As you can see, I have to add two edge loops, but I only have one edge on the left to connect them if I want all the polygons to be quads. So I'm going to reduce the number of edges by adding a cut with the knife tool. Press I to inset, right click, loop tools, circle. Rotate the eye to get a better alignment. Inset again twice. Delete these faces. Add a grid fill to close the hole. And let's do the same for the nose. I'm going to add this small detail around the mouth. Select the surrounding edges. Right click and subdivide. Adjust the position of the vertices to match the curvature. In edge mode, press Ctrl B to bevel and uncheck loop side. And like I did for the eye, I'm going to add some cuts in both sides to reduce the edges. Use set flow on the lower jaw. Repeat what you just did on the bottom area. Add some loop cuts with the knife tool. And to be able to work more easily, I'm going to delete these edges. Select this loop. Add a bevel. and bring back the edges that you just deleted.
turn this end cone into quads. Now, let's extrude the remaining faces behind the head. Press Alt S to extrude along the normals. Slide the vertices to match the picture. Extrude the ear. Add some loop cuts. Slide the vertices with GG. Add an edge loop like so. Add a loop at the back of the head. Let's give our model some thickness. Add some edge loops on the side to get squared polygons. Select the top left polygon, press Ctrl Shift left click and select the bottom right polygon. Delete these faces, extrude to make the base of the handle of the axe. Right click, loop tools, circle. Press 3 to go to the side view, and press 4 or 6 to rotate the orthographic camera. Scale on the z-axis to make the circle a little bit bigger than the flat area. You can add a subdivision surface modifier to check if everything looks good. Add an edge loop to sharpen the corner. I'm not going to model all the handle, but you can if you want. Select this loop, bevel it with Ctrl B, add something like 5 or 6 segments, it's up to you. I'm going to close the gap, press F, then I to inset, extrude, select the sharp edges, add a bevel with the shape of 1 to sharpen the angles, delete the end gone, and add a grid fill. Adjust the values to get the right orientation. Select the back of the head and the ear. Extrude downwards. Select the overlapping faces, then delete them. To be able to fill the hole on both sides, add some vertices like so, click on the edges, right click, subdivide. Do the same thing to the other side. Select the border, deselect these two edges, right click, then bridge. We have two end guns, so to get rid of them, connect the vertices like so on both sides. and add an edge loop to make two diamond polygons. Now let's delete half of the model to work only on one side. Select the faces that have to be extruded. Press Ctrl I to invert the selection, extrude, and press Alt S to extrude along the normals. Add a mirror modifier. Press GG to slide this edge loop. Let's bevel the eye with a shape of 0.5. Press C to avoid any overlapping and merge the vertices by distance. Press O to activate proportional editing, select the polygon at the center of the eye and raise it a little bit to give the eye a more rounded shape. Finally, add a mirror modifier and we are done with this model. 
Let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. If you try to model it, join my Discord to show me your work. Please like the video if it was helpful and I will see you in the next one.